Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. So my birthday vlog just officially started. So I want to show you guys a few items that I've already made. So I want to be unboxing my shoe actually. Will it even be called an unboxing video because um I got my shoe by Waybill because I couldn't get the um exact shoe I wanted around in any store around me, so I had to just order online and a package got squeezed before it was delivered so yeah i wanted to just give you guys a mini unboxing kind of thing so i'll show you guys what i ordered and it was really really nice so yeah come with me <laughs> By the way, my entire look was styled by Elite West NG on Instagram. So check out that brand. Up and coming brand, but it caters for women wear. So my second shoe I'll be using for this photo. So um yeah, this is my second shoe. This is the Zara New York um, Transparent Heels second fit and um a diamond is a third one but i just got this extra slip on from zara on so it's this slipper heel so these are part of like the outfit reveal so for the major things i wanted to show you guys um my dress will be revealed for the photo shoot I'll be adding a clip of that when I went to the stylist to get my dress from her. So yeah. And I also have other things I want to show you guys but to be in consequence video. So. so my loves, here I was fitting my dress. My designer did a great job with this dress. Like she always kills every design I give to her. And of course, shout out to Elite West for styling every look for this birthday i'm so blessed to have everything come together it was so beautiful i enjoyed my photo shoots and this was just everything i ever wanted my favorite colors oh my god i just feel so happy guys are you not subscribed to my channel yet if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel and turn on post notification Today is my photo shoot, my birthday, I'm going to do my photo shoot. I made my nails last night, so pretty. This are actually, I have the longest I've had on. So, heading over to the makeup artist studio to do my makeup and also my pictures for my birthday. So, come and guys with me. And when I'm sweating, I actually use sunscreen, so yeah it's kind of already melting so yeah 
I was out at about a few minutes ago. I'm taking you guys on my journey to my bed day. This is bed day vlog two. <laughs> I made my hair, changed my weaves so I can look really sharp in the makeup, and of course my toenails. Like you can see this. <laughs> Got that one done too. So see you guys in the studio soon. So right here, I'm at the makeup artist studio, guys. Before I found this place guy it was a crazy amount of time and in the back story my phone actually went blind on this day like i was so frustrated i had to try my best to um call her until i found her sign but i was able to reach out to this makeup artist like <sighs> the devil tried his best to really ruin my day but thank god you know <laughs> god came through yeah, and also a very important story. Um, during this birthday, I felt um more drawn to get closer to God and just align myself more spiritually. So, and just kind of continue my journey with my work with God. And to add salt to the injury, my photographer's number was not going like babes. I called this guy like. 20 times on that day of the photo shoot and his number was no going through like I was literally going crazy Well, thanks to my makeup artist. She actually found a better photographer for me. I was actually having Anxiety thinking that this photographer of mine would not take me good pictures because I was scared like I was on a budget So I tried my best to just work with what I had but luckily for me, everything turned out great. My favorite quote to always say is, everything works in my favor. I mean, all things work in my favor. And I'm glad that this photo shoot turned out perfectly. From the makeup to the outfit to the photography, everything ate so well. <music> I was done dressing up. Shout out to my makeup artist, Anna Beauty. She helped me dress up. And after what, she took me some really great pictures and some dope ass videos. Guys, I was feeling myself like the real boss babe. <laughs> Now, 
days leading up to my birthday I had to carry on some voluntary services where I distributed school bags to secondary schools in Anambra State. These were public secondary schools so I joined the SA to the Governor on Student Affairs and we just charged up the duties and you know gave out something to the students. It was such a fun experience. I always love humanitarian services like this. The students were so elated. They were so happy to receive the school bags, guys. I really had fun at this um, tour. And I also got to learn a lot about public schools. If you haven't really experienced life going to a public school, you wouldn't really understand how it feels to not really have you know basic things that you need to start life as a person and it was just so fun and so thank you to the sponsors for donating the school bags the anambra family based in arizona usa guys i also made some new friends here is the prince tourism of anambra and this is also a real life princess guys. <laughs> It was amazing. That 
that's how we spent our day showing love to the secondary and primary school students. My birthday pictures came out very beautiful. Comment below your favorite picture from all of these pics. My birthday is special every year because I share the feast day with my patron saint, Saint Rita of Cassia, the saint of impossibilities. On my birthday, I attended morning mass to thank the Lord for adding another year to my life. And from there, I went back home to freshen up so I could step out. I had a small outreach to do again my birthday. It's so peaceful in the house of God. So at this point, my brothers and I were headed to the orphanage home. And we just wanted to do a small birthday outreach, more like a tent giving for another year. So I just did something really small for the children at the home. And yeah, it's always a good thing to always give, aside from gratitude, saying the little keywords, thank you, and please, I also see giving out as a necessary part of life. So... The whole sharing and caring didn't end there. At this point, I was signing in to the community student's home. You have to sign in your um, coming into the place and until before you leave. Here, the children were offering me birthday prayers and they also sang for me. It was quite a short reception and afterwards, we had a few pictures with my siblings and yeah that was basically how i spent my birthday there was no extra celebration afterwards i just spent the day at the orphanage home at church and just spending time with my family it just made the whole day extra special i got lots of calls from friends that was how i spent my birthday so i ended the night at a bar with my sibling we just had fun, drinks, and yeah, vibes to good music.